Hi, hello, how are ya? Chef Kennedy here. On this episode, we'll be paying homage to one of the most notorious chefs of the 21st century. In a world where we're constantly pressed for time, scraping together sad scraps of food just to sustain ourselves, Sandra Lee was a pioneer before her time. Sandra Lee shined a ray of hope in dark gloom, teaching us how to trick people into thinking you've been slaying over the oven all day, when in reality, you've been slinging cocktails by the pool. Today, we are kicking it semi-homemade in collaboration with everyone's favorite convenient grocery store, Trader Joe's. I'll be sharing three easy Trader Joe meal hacks with a bonus cocktail because no semi-homemade would be complete without a little booze. First up is a childhood favorite, English muffin pizzas with garlic toast and melty cheese, followed by stir-fry lettuce wraps with peanut crusted tofu and spicy mayo. I'll also be sharing strawberry shortcake, perfect for the summer, and a watermelon margarita. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna be doing English muffin pizzas two ways, as well as stir fry lettuce wraps with peanut crusted tofu and strawberry shortcake. For our English muffin pizzas, we're gonna take three English muffins on a sheet tray. We're gonna do half regular pizza and half a white artichoke dip pizza. So we're gonna take this garlic spread and we're gonna add that over top of the English muffins. So it's kind of like garlic bread. Then add some dried parsley and we're gonna broil this for two minutes on high. Once that's nice and golden, we're gonna take some tomato basil marinara on half of the pizzas, about a tablespoon. And then we're gonna use this artichoke antipasto on the rest. Now we'll just add this vegan mozzarella over top of all of the pizzas. And I love banana peppers and black olives on my pizza. You could add any toppings that you like. For the white pizza, I'm just gonna add some fresh thyme here. If you have dried thyme, that will work too. And just broil that again for two minutes on high until golden, bubbly, and delicious. I'm gonna add some fresh basil on the white pizza just to make it super herbaceous and fresh. Now onto our lettuce wraps. We're gonna take that garlic spread again and make an aioli with it. So you're gonna take a half a cup of that with one tablespoon of sriracha and a teaspoon of lime juice. Mix it up and you have a spicy mayo. We're gonna take half of this and add it to a Ziploc bag so that we can have a nice drizzle of that spicy mayo for our lettuce wraps. The other half we'll use for our peanut crusted tofu. For the peanut crusted tofu, we'll take one cup of peanuts that are roasted and salted. We're gonna add that to a Ziploc bag and just crush them with a rolling pin. Once that's the desired texture, we're ready to bread. I'm using this baked teriyaki tofu and just cutting each half into eight pieces until you have these nice rectangular shapes. We're gonna add that tofu into the spicy mayo and then right into those crushed peanuts. Once you have those all breaded, we're gonna oil a sheet tray and add those right on top there. Bake that for 10 minutes at 375. Now I'm gonna use this miso vegetable kit for the stir fry. It does come with brown rice, but I'm not gonna use that for this today. 
and it does have this miso dressing that is gonna be so good. So we're gonna take one tablespoon of coconut oil on high heat and add in our vegetables. Get a nice sear on those vegetables, cooking them for about five to 10 minutes. Once you have a nice char on those vegetables, we're gonna deglaze the pan with that miso glaze. Mix it up and we're ready to assemble the lettuce wraps. For your lettuce wraps, you can use romaine, bib, or I'm using iceberg lettuce here. So you can just add your stir fried vegetables right to the center there, followed by your peanut crusted tofu. Then for your spicy mayo, just snip off the end and drizzle it all with spicy mayo. For some garnish, just adding some fresh lime wedges here and a little sprinkle of those crushed peanuts just for some extra texture. I also love adding some fresh mint. Onto our strawberry shortcakes, we're gonna take about 10 strawberries, just slicing the ends off, and then slicing them in half, and then cutting them into nice bite-sized pieces. Once you have those all sliced, we're gonna add those to a bowl with two tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. This is gonna macerate for about five minutes until those juices are flowing. We're gonna use these crumpets as our cake to our strawberry shortcake, and just using a glass to cut out the very center of the crumpets. Now we're gonna take about a half tablespoon of vegan butter to a small saucepan, add your crumpets in, we're gonna toast these for about two minutes on each side. Once those are toasted, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of Frangelico or hazelnut liqueur. This is gonna make them so moist and delicious. To assemble, we'll take one of our cakes, followed by a heap of those fresh, delicious macerated strawberries. Make sure to get some of that extra juice on there. And then we're gonna use this coconut whipped topping and just put those right over top of the strawberries. Add the other cake over top and you're left with this beautiful strawberry shortcake. Okay, so before I show you our finished Trader Joe hacks, no semi homemade would be complete without a tablescape and a cocktail. So for our tablescape, I've picked lovely things from around the house that remind me of summer. So I have this mm, gorgeous fresh mint plant followed by a little garden gnome, a nutcracker holding a pizza, and a sailboat to really drive home that summertime feeling. And speaking of summertime, doesn't summer just remind you of watermelons? Well, we're gonna be making a watermelon cocktail that's gonna be so refreshing. So Trader Joe's makes these delicious sparkling watermelon juice that are perfect to make an easy margarita. Okay, so to start, we're gonna take a wedge of lime and you're just gonna rub this right around the rim. Oh, how nice is that? Now you're gonna take, um, I have a little chili lime spice on this plate. So we're just gonna do a little rim of our spice there. This is gonna be such a fun element, a little spice along with all of that sweet watermelon juice. So now that we have our spiced rim, we're gonna throw in a couple wedges of lime and some fresh mint. How fun is that? 
just throw that right in there. And if you don't have a muddler, why not use a rolling pin? How cute of a hack is that? So we're just gonna go ahead and just muddle, just muddle away, get all those juices flowing, get the, the oils and the mint working. Yeah, just really release that flavor. Oh yeah, and once you have your desired muddle, we're gonna take some watermelon cubes. So what I did was I froze watermelon cubes because let's be honest, who wants to water down a cocktail? So we're gonna just take our watermelon, place it in there like you would ice, just fill it right to the top, and now for the tequila. Now I'm using a resbasado here. You can use whatever tequila you like, but just make sure to liberally add that to your cocktail. And once you have the amount that you like, let's just go ahead and take our sparkling watermelon juice from Trader Joe's. We're just gonna add that right over top like so. And then for garnish, we're gonna take some a wedge of watermelon and we're just gonna go ahead and sprinkle some flaky sea salt over top, almost like it's a watermelon, a salted watermelon rim. Wow, I love that for us. Now we're just gonna place this right in there. Wow, how gorgeous is that? If you wanna sass it up a little bit, we can just take one of these sprigs right here, throw it right in your cocktail, and how gorge is that? Cheers. Okay, so here we have our easy Trader Joe hacks. It's time for the taste test. First up is our English muffin pizza with the olives and banana peppers. This is my favorite way to eat pizza. Mmm, yeah. I love that little like hint of spice. So great. And now, our artichoke dip white pizza. Mmm. Whoa. That right there, my friend. My friend, my friend. You will thank me later. Okay. Now for our lettuce wraps. So fun and simple, fresh, delicious, great for the summer. And if you're watching your waistline, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Love all those different textures in there. The like savoriness of the miso against the charred vegetable and the texture of the peanuts, so tasty. Now, onto our strawberry shortcake with that frangelico soaked right in and that coconut cream. Mm, you can never go wrong with strawberries in the summertime. Mm. Oh my. Oh, wow. What a world. Delicious. These were so simple, fun, and easy to make. I hope this inspires you to take different ingredients that are already prepared for you and create something new. Add your pizzazz, add your fresh herbs, add your, you know, 30% fresh ingredients to 70% you know, pre-made. It's fine. Nobody's gonna notice. If it tastes good, that's all that matters. Don't forget to like and subscribe. From my kitchen to yours, Chef Kennedy out.